Hey, what's going on, you guys? It is I, the Charles White, just here at it again with another Mac tips for you guys video. So, uh, this video is gonna be about Mac shortcuts. Um, yeah, so let's get started. So, uh, first of all, before I get started, if you're running Mac OS Mojave or later, you can do the following. So, um, let's get let's jump jump right into it. So, if you want to take a screenshot or to take a video of your display hold command shift 5 again command shift 5 which i'm doing right now that's how i'm recording my screen um you press command shift 5 to record a screen or to take a screenshot so there's that there's uh so i got safari open i mean safari uh yeah safari and so hold command tab command tab and this will happen I see um, you can switch quickly the apps you want like uh, yeah that is me um, so anyways there's that so again command if you want to do that if you want to do this um, what you see on the screen press command tab so as you can see right there it says maps mail messages right so uh, nothing came up obviously but because I have it disabled so uh, here we go so um, third one is when you're in the finder you can change the layout view by holding command one through four so let me just um, run through it real quick um, so you bring up finder right um, and you see how the layout is right here so what you do is you press command one through four so that's what well, this is one right now so two three and that's four and that's one again you see um, that's pretty good that's pretty good that's one of my, that's one of my favorite ones so uh, anyways um, continuing number four you can select multiple files by holding command and then selecting your desired files on the display so um this is one of my favorite ones too i absolutely like it um let me minimize that let me minimize that minimize <laughs> my bad so once here on the home screen on your mac you simply want to hold command down the key command and then you want to go to desired um, pictures or anything, right? So I uh, have music right here. So you 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 have access to this, right? And you still have a command the key down, press it down. So what you got to do is um, you see how it lets you select multiple uh, files, and then from there you can um, go. Uh, to trash or whatever you want to do with them you know what I mean so um, that's pretty neat um, so I like that one like I said so anyways let's head to the next one the next one is to look up a definition of a word you can press control command and the letter D okay so um, let's go to uh, so Safari, and let me bring out for example this. <laughs> I was um, searching out facts, um, yeah, because I like facts, anyways. Um, so let's say, for example, you want to learn the definition of this word right here, right? And so, what you can do, there's actually two ways of doing it. One way of doing it is like it says right here. To look up a definition of a word you can press control command and the letter D so so control command and you have a highlighter right and then you press D and you can do it that way um, to look up the definition of a word but what I like to do is um, the simpler way to do it is you like um, highlight that word and you simply firmly press on the um, on the mouse or on the keyboard 
on the keyboard, on the, um, on the, you know, um, on the pad, right, on the, on the, um, Mac, my bad, so you firmly press, and, uh, you should feel like a, like, like a little click in the pad, and then that way it's easier, so, um, there's two ways of doing this, so, uh, okay, for the next one is, uh, to find a quick emoji to use on your notes or elsewhere anywhere hold control command and then so hold control command then spacebar so um, control press control the press key press control command and then spacebar and there you have your emojis right there um, you can you can search up the emoji you want right there from the home screen um, you can uh, just browse and have fun and put them up in your notes or whatever you know so anyways if you want to look up information about anything using spotlight you can quickly do so by tapping command and then spacebar so um, if you want to let's go home real fast so uh, I bet everybody knows about this about Mac so um, but for the uh, for the people who don't know this I'm gonna show you um, if you want to quickly access if you don't want to go to a Safari or you want to go to Chrome or anywhere you can quickly um, uh, uh, access information on the home screen without going to Safari or uh, Chrome by pressing command and spacebar so that will bring up this spotlight search and uh, you can uh, and on like uh, weather okay so I just gonna say weather uh, like weather Portland and stuff like that what see Santa Morgan radar underground or whatever you know stuff like that and uh, it's pretty it's pretty uh, handy um, I really like it so let's keep going so number eight instead of having multiple Safari windows open on your Mac you can simply tap command T so let's go to uh, um, let's go but let's go to Chrome again and then it says right here open on your Mac you can simply tap command T so command T and this right here if you press command T um, on your keyboard you will um, you're actually there's actually two ways of doing this so by pressing command T on your keyboard you can um, create a new page on Safari or Chrome um, but on my simplest way uh, simple way is doing this the plus sign right here or you can press command T like I said it so um, yeah anyways that is pretty neat um, I did not know that I barely learned it right now um, so uh, oh yeah oh yeah I forgot so if you um, let's press command T again right there's a new page right now right here right new tab and then let's just say that you you're not one of those people that like to um, click on the X to get rid of it right you want to use the keyboard so what you do is you press command W and there you go you guys it's gone so um, that's pretty handy I would be using I, w I will be using this um, in my future videos um, then uh, the next one is uh, then the next one the next one says while still on Safari you can press control tab to switch between okay so uh, you press control tab so control tab and I think I already went through this yeah I did that's a uh, um uh, I put it in twice <laughs> my bad um so um and nine, ninth one is to hide an active app simply press command H so you see this right here on my screen right now you press to hide this um you, let's say you don't wanna um do this because you might accidentally um, press the red um, close button so right so what you want to do is press command H command H will not close the Safari or Chrome or anything down completely don't worry it is still there um, Chrome right there and you see it's still right there and all the um, 
you know, all the application is still there. So all the web addresses or whatever, you know. So let me just press Command H again, and again, like I said, it won't it will not um, delete the web pages or anything. You can just uh, go go back to Safari or anything that you're using, and then it will be there. See, like nothing. So Command H. All right, you can also um, do this on. Um, this is one of my most favorite options you can do. One of my so um, let's say that you have this open, right? And uh, take a look, um, take a look at this, and take a look at this, right? So these are two um, separate pages. So um, and most people don't know this. I recently figured this out. It's pretty neat. So uh, you all you have to do is hover your mouse, which you see right here on top and you hover it right here on top of the green icon then you would be presented with these entry full screen tile window to left screen tile window to right screen right so and then also show you that um images right here so let's just say this one right here and um you'll be available to um do this work at the same time right uh, for some apps it won't work it will not work um, because they're not um, configured that way um, but it's pretty neat you know I could be on pexels.com and I could be on looking at um, facts my favorite facts food and all that stuff but that's besides the point so uh, anyways um well for anything else, help Mac just okay. So um, let me minimize this. Uh, let me uh, full screen. All right. Here for Mac help in the future, um, you can either there's two ways of doing this. So if you need help on the Mac, you can simply press on um, there's a keyboard um, option. So Shift Command and then question mark. Um, that's I did that on the keyboard um, or you could simply with your mouse or pad you can simply go to help and right there Mac OS help and uh, that's one way of there's two ways of accessing, accessing that um, shift command question mark or you can simply use the mouse see but uh, anyways you guys, um, I enjoy making content for you guys. Uh, if you would like to um, like, comment, subscribe, I will be really, it will be really much appreciated. Um, and also, also share my video out there so my channel can get traction out there on YouTube. Um, I will really appreciate it. And uh, you know, have a wonderful day. And I'll. See for Mac help in the future, um, you can either, there's two ways of doing this. So if you need help on the Mac, you can simply press, um, there's a keyboard um, option. So shift, command, and then question mark. Um, that's, I did that on the keyboard. Um, or you could simply with your mouse or pad, you can simply go to help and right there, Mac OS help. And uh, that's one way of, there's two ways of accessing, accessing that. Um, shift, command, question mark, or you can simply use the mouse, see. But uh, anyways, you guys, um, I enjoy making content for you guys. Uh, if you would like to um, like, comment, subscribe, I will be really, it will be really much appreciated. Um, and also, also share my video out there so my channel can get traction out there on YouTube. Um, I will really appreciate it. And, uh, you know, have a wonderful day. And I'll see you on the next one. All right. For Mac help in the future, um, you can either, there's two ways of doing this. So if you need help on the Mac, you can simply press, um, there's a keyboard. Um, option so shift command and then question mark um, that's I did that on the keyboard 
um, or you could simply with your mouse or pad you can simply go to help and right there Mac OS help and uh, that's one way of there's two ways of accessing that um, shift command question mark or you can simply use the mouse see but uh, anyways you guys um, I enjoy making content for you guys uh, if you would like to um, like comment subscribe I will be really it will be really much appreciated um, and also also share my video out there so my channel can get traction out there on YouTube um, I will really appreciate it and uh, you know have a wonderful day and I'll see you on the next one all right all right